Good morning. So we've just walked from the campsite to Finn Larry Castle, which is dangerous. So we're going to be very, very, very careful. And look at that. Oh, old castle and mausoleum. No. One of the most interesting mausoleums I've ever seen is Lenin's. And that was interesting, that was, you know. They look proper like Lenin and uh, I wonder who I'm going to find in here. There might be someone very interested. Here we go, we're just like going into the entrance now. Oh, look, there seems to be like loads of grounds to it. Oh my gosh, look at this. How spooky is this? Even at 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow, that is cool. Look, can you see that little arch right there? Wow. This is fascinating. I'll let you know if I find anybody's bodies in the mausoleum. So I found them. There's Gavin. There's Alma. And uh, yeah, so it's not exactly like a mausoleum. We can't see them, can we? But we can imagine what they were like. And they like uh, died in the 1800s. So there we go, Finlarig Castle. Oh, they were from the house of Montrose, by the way. So here we have a tree that has been felled by a beaver. So you can see his teeth marks and you can also see it's still um, very, very new because it hasn't discolored. And in this area, there are a few more bits of evidence of our beavers felling the trees. So yes, a very interesting find. So we walked up from Killing, uh, just up this massive path and I'm just taking this video amongst logs, hundreds and hundreds of logs, just to show you that tiny, tiny bit of snow on that mountain. Right now we're looking for Killing Stones, so someone's like stolen it and uh, took it off the map. So. I'm not actually quite sure where it is, so, but we've walked up there and uh, it was very steep and now uh, we're walking down there which is very steep so let's see what happens. That kind of looks a bit magical in there doesn't it? it kind of makes you want to go in there rather than sticking to the path but you know me I'm going to stick to the path. So I just thought I'd show you this view might be about halfway two thirds of the way something like that around the walk but um, I'm presuming that is Loch Tay, and I'm presuming that is Killen. So we've kind of walked all through here, which was uh, pretty good. And we've had our lovely picnic, and uh, the sun's are shining, and um, Scotland's doing pretty well. Oh, and there's some more snow. Oh, look. Snow on a mountain there. So, not convinced we'll be that high. So I think the next stop might be the stone circle, unless I see anything else exciting on the way. So we've just walked all the way down to the troll station and I am literally going to walk through there to meet my troll. Here we go. Feeling brave. <gasps> Don't be silly, of course we won't see him. He only comes out at night. There it is, Killing Stone Circle. Uh, but unfortunately, this is as close as we're gonna get because this is an electric fence. And uh, I'm just not, oh, I don't know. Right to Rome, Scotland, all that. Just don't wanna get electrified, electrocuted. Whatever the word is. So anyway, there it is. So I was going to travel through a portal, but uh, I'm not going to jump through the electric fence to travel through a portal. So I'm just going to travel back to Killian and maybe even go via the pub. So news flash: we are not going back via Killian. We are now on a trail that we've just found, going straight to Finlarig Castle, which is where we started this morning, and back to the campsite. So cuts out the pub, cuts out the cart for bread but also cuts out a few miles for my poorly knees. Awesome. 
So this is me now sitting down having a break. Um, so the walk is going back to Castle Finlarin or whatever it's called. However, we are walked by the co-op so we've decided to go and get some uh, nice bread to go with our spaghetti bolognese I think it is tonight. So um, not going by the pub. Um, Mr Render's gone off to the co-op. So I'm chilling my beans here. Enjoying the sun and the bird song. It's beautiful. So now we're back at the campsite and we're well rested and um, had a few little refreshments and I've just planned our itinerary for tomorrow which I've just shared with you on a map. A couple of hours driving, a few hours nice visiting places and then heading up at Glenmore campsite which is like um, Aviemore, so carry on up, carry on north. So uh, yeah, 